guys. So this first video is to show you guys how to set up Design Spark Mechanical at home. This is the CAD software that we're going to be using for our class this quarter. Um, so first thing you're going to do is download or uh, go to Google to type Design Spark and head to the third link that you get. You're then going to scroll down and you're going to get to this download section here. The options you got are 32-bit and 64. Uh, this you cannot download this guy for Mac, so I'm sorry for that. But for Windows, you first have to figure out if you're 32 or 64. If you're on Windows 7 or Vista or XP, you'll you shouldn't be on XP. You should right-click on computer, go to properties, and you'll have this guy here pop up. System section, system type 32-bit. Uh, for me, yours will say 32 or 64. You'll then go here, click on the guy relative to what you're doing. I'll click on 32 and download. I already have the file. You're going to click save. I'm going to click cancel. So yours is going to save. It's going to have a thing pop up down here if you're in Chrome saying it's downloading, or over here um, if it's Mozilla. It may have a um, like a warning like, are you sure you want to download this? Uh, go and click yes if that does happen. And this is the page we get. Uh, I'll go ahead and wait for you. This is going to take a few minutes. Go ahead and pause the video. Um, and let it catch up. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and restart it. Alright, now, once we've downloaded it, we'll close this guy. Oh, actually. If you um, didn't get a thing at the bottom of your screen, you can control J. It'll take you to a downloads deal. You can click on your guy here. This is what's going to say DSM, whatever. You'll just say 32 or 64. Go ahead and click on that guy. Um, it'll open it up. I always have it go to my desktop because I can find it easier. Um, open this dude. And inside you'll have your install installer. You're going to double click on that guy. And we'll wait for him to come up. A uh, guy will show up that says, uh, asks you if you want to run him. Um, when he feels like cooperating, it should, uh, it should give us this guy. There he is. Run. It'll have our installer pop up. This dude right here. We're gonna go ahead and click next. Okay, so you guys, you have a habit of clicking on, uh, I'll just breezing through these, and then you guys download a lot of stuff that I get to go through all the laptops and remove. Um, so please read things as they come up. So you can see that it's got the name of what we want in here. It's not malicious of any form. So, I agree. I'll go next. Get us to where I want it. This is the path. Leave it as default. We'll go into wherever. And we're good to go. We'll wait for it to install. It's going to take a few minutes. Um, it's a big program. Um, this guy is a, a demanding program on your processor and your RAM. Mm, yes. Um, you'll want at least 2 gigs of RAM, preferably 4. Very preferably 4. And you'll need at least a dual core. Um, it will not, it will not do well on a single core at all. Um, it gets clunky and it'll get laggy, and it'll be very, very slow and very frustrating. Um, if you do not have a computer that's up to, that's able to run this very successfully, or you're stuck with a Mac, you do have access to all the, the school computers when it comes on Mondays or um, in the mornings when I'm there. Now, it's probably not going to ask me, but it should ask you. When you first start this guy, you're going to right-click, run as admin. If you don't, you could run into some issues. Yeah, you really need to run it as admin so that it can access the registration server that it's going to try to talk to. Unfortunately, this guy's free for us, but he comes at a price of always needing to be authenticated by the registration server, which is... it's actually... It's, it's, it's annoying. Alright, run as admin. Yes. Um, you should guys have these authentication things popping up. Mine's probably not showing them because it doesn't capture that on the recording software. So this guy starts. 
if this if this um, stops and does not load, um, let me know and I can help you figure it out. It's probably because you didn't right click and run as admin, um, or you had a firewall or he had something. Yeah, so mine just opens the program, just ask you to re um, re register. You are going to. Probably get a registration. You're, you're going to get a registration deal. If you were one of my students from before, you will have an account already. This is the guy who's going to pop up when you first see that guy. Um, uh, register, create an account, or log in create with an email or password. Um, your email would, uh, if you were with me before, would have been your student email. And if you make one, you'll use your student email. And your password should be. Um, you should have that. If you don't, let me know, and I, I should have that for you. Um, however, if you're one of the new students who hasn't this before, you'll need to click on this guy. And this guy's going to pop up. Um, this really isn't any of their business, so you're not. don't put your name. Please don't put your name. Just put a fake name or student. Um, business email is going to be your school email. Um, please use, like, CRMS... Uh, than your first name. That way, I can figure you out, and I'll have a and I'll have a password that I would give you so that I I know what it is, so I can help you out if I needed to. Fashion should be a student in here. Just enter a random just numbers. Um, just pick random things. I think it wants you to fill out all of those fields. Um, company name. You could put the, the school name, or you could just put gibberish down. That's no, it's not important. In fact, you put gibberish down for all this, um, except for this guy. This guy is a 10-digit number, uh, preceded by, I think, three zeros. Um, and unfortunately, these guys aren't very good at their own game. So just f put three zeros and some random numbers up to 10, up to a number of 10 numbers, and that should get you through. If it doesn't, let me know, and I'll help you get it registered. Um, once you have all these filled out, register, you got to accept. It'll send you an email that wants you to activate it. Um, you'll need to go click that and activate it. It should be in your student email. Um, it could take a long time. These guys, um, it, take, it could take a while. And then you're going to open it. It's going to send you to your start page, which shows up every single time you open this program. It's this little ad pro thingy. Um, you just close start page, and you're good to go. You go to file, new, design, and you're solid. Um, I'll um I'll start posting some videos on how to make some things, and we'll get started. All right. Um, all right. Thanks for watching.